Today, I'm gonna to show you how to edit a PDF on your iPhone, Android phone, Mac, and PC. Look, I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be fun, especially the stamp tool. There are definitely a few different ways to edit a PDF, but I'm gonna show you easy, fast, and free ways to add text, sign a document, or fill out a form right from your phone, or PC, or whatever, Mac. You get the idea. Hey, for more advanced edits on the PDF, you're gonna have to spend money on an app, but pff, we're not here to spend money. We're here to edit a PDF for free! <laughs> so enough of my jibber jabber. Let me show you how to edit your portable document format files. You know, PDFs. Anyway, let's start with the Mac. So on your Mac, you don't need to download an app like Adobe Acrobat Reader or, well, any other app, especially for simple edits, because Apple makes a program called Preview and it's on every Mac. To edit, double click on your PDF file and it should automatically open in preview. If for some reason this doesn't happen, open up your applications folder and open preview. It's the app that has the picture of the uh, postcard and the loop. From there, you'll be greeted with a window asking you to select a file. Once you're ready, click the blue open button and you're back in the game. To access the toolbar, click on the markup tool on the top right side next to the search field. To add text, click on the text tool. It's the one that looks like a uh, letter T inside a square prison. Let me out, I'm a T, I'm a T. What did I ever do to S or U or V? Then a text box will appear on your document. Type in your text and then you can move the text box anywhere on the page. To change the appearance of text, tap the text style tool. It's the one with the jaunty angled A. If you need to resize the text box, click on either of the blue dots. This will allow you to make the field wider or more narrow. There's also a sketch tool, not a um, shady tool that's dangerous and has a life of crime, but one that lets you draw on your PDF. If it's a line, you can change the color and the thickness using the shape style tool, the one that's the parallel lines that get thicker as you go down, or the border style tool, the one that has the small square inside the large square. Jeez, like who comes up with these names for tools and the icons? If you close your line while drawing like this, Preview will automatically transform it into a shape. You can also add pre-made shapes if you're not feeling particularly artistic. Pro tip. This might be actually one of my favorite features, the ability to create a signature to add to your documents. Click the arrow next to the sign tool, you know, the one that looks like a cursive letter J. Click the button, create signature. If you want, you can use your finger on the trackpad to sign. Hit the click to begin button. Once you're done signing, press any key. If you like your signature, hit done. Obviously, there's another way to capture your signature. You can use a pen and a piece of white paper and sign it. Then you're going to create signature and you're gonna click on the camera tab and you pick your signature on the line that pops up on the screen. It's using the selfie camera on your, on your laptop. And when you like it, you hit done. Obviously, this is the cooler way to create a signature obviously. Now, if you want to add one of your stored signatures, just click on the one you want from the sign menu. Then drag, resize, and reposition it wherever your signature needs to go. When you're done with your edits, hit save. But what if you have more copy to edit? What you can do is highlight all the text of the PDF, copy it, then open up a word processing program like Word or Pages or Google Docs. Paste the text into that, make your changes, and then you can export that out as a new PDF. Now let's jump to the iPhone. I guess we don't have to jump since it's right here, but you know what I mean. Just like the Mac, you do not need a special app to do basic edits in the PDF, because on the iPhone, there is something called markup mode. So I'm gonna open up a PDF from an email. When I tap on the markup tool, I'm greeted across the bottom of my phone by different tools for highlights, pen drawing, pencil drawing, and eraser tool. I can also tap on the plus sign to add a text box, shapes, a magnifier, and even signatures. Signatures can sync between preview on your Mac and markup mode on your iPhone. To add a new one, tap add or remove signature, then tap the plus sign on the top left of your screen. Use your finger to sign the line and hit done to save. Blah, 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 blah. Pro tip. So you can use the undo arrows to move forward or backwards through your edits. When I'm done with my edits, I can reply with my updated PDF or put it inside a new message. 
Now let's move on to Android phones. Now, unlike Mac and iPhone, there's not a system-wide Android PDF editor. However, if you look on the Google Play Store, there's basically an endless list of PDF apps. The one that I like for simple edits and filling out forms is Adobe Fill and Sign. Best part, it's free. Open your PDF with Adobe Fill and Sign. Tap on the screen to bring up a text box. Once you've entered your text, you can move it by tapping and dragging it, or resize it with the large and small letter A's. That kind of sounds weird. You can add signatures and initials with the pen tool. To resize them, tap the blue circle with the left and right arrows. Slide it, well, either left or right, to make it larger or smaller. You can even pre-fill in a profile with information like your address and email to populate forms. What's nice is the app saves as you go. And when you're done, you can share your PDF through email, to Google Drive, or other apps with the share menu. And finally, let's talk about PDFs on the PC. The program I like to use is Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. It's free. I know, I know, I sound like I'm healing for the PDF industry, big document, but I'm not. This is a free version of the more expensive Adobe Acrobat Pro, and that thing costs $15 a month or $180 a year. <laughs> Acrobat Reader is plenty powerful to do basic edits on your PDFs, and you can also download it on a Mac. It works similarly to the way Preview does. When you're done, you can save your PDF or export it into a different file format like a Word doc. Pro tip, if you really wanna make your document have that PDF pizzazz, there's the rubber stamp tool. Click on it and if you really wanna be impressed, open up the stamp palette. You can approve things, add sign here's and initial here's just by clicking and dragging them where you want. Seriously, I feel like a used car salesman getting the paperwork ready on that 93 Oldsmobile you want. And by the way, you've been approved. Pro tip. So that's all the tips I've got for editing a PDF. If you have a favorite app or website you like to use for PDFs, throw them in the comments. Also, if you like our video, give us a thumbs up. Otherwise, subscribe for more how-to videos.